Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the topic of O-level stigmatry. And we have a question here, June 2014, 42 variant question number three. So let's see how we can do this question. First of all, he said, use sign rule, calculate the length of AD. And I talk about this triangle, concentrate fully here. Either you can, you can make separate or you can work directly, no issue at all. And technique is what to observe. This is 49 degree given. And this front is called AT. This is a value of A. This is called pair. One pair is given. A pair means opposite side and angle. Whenever one pair is given, we, can, we are eligible to use sign rule. Eligible. So let's start. Here we given here 55 degree, okay? And we need to find AD, and AD is this length. So in front of B, this side is called small b. So small b is my question. So let's start. What is sign rule? Because side is unknown, so I will keep sign up. So part A, B by sign capital B, is equal to small a by sine capital A. Just plug in the values. Capital B is, this is called capital 55, 55 degree. So I'm writing here 55 degree. And small a is here 80 degree. So 80 degree I'm replacing here. And sine capital A. And capital A, you can see here 49 degree. That's it. So this number is dividing down, will multiply up. So I'm going to show you, first I show step by step. So 80 times two sine 55, sine 55, divided by sine 49. So divided by sine 49, I just matter of typing in calculator. And let me type 80 times two sine double five, and divided by sine 49. An answer is coming 86.83096. But you know, every answer we have to give three SF. So three SF means I need first digit, I need second digit, I need third digit, but fourth digit I don't want. Which you don't want if this bigger than four, then we add, otherwise we will not add and B is, this is called AD, so we got AD answer, 86.8 uh, meter. We got the uh, first part answer so easily. So this triangle is final finished, and now I'm erasing this triangle, and I'm going to do next part. So next part is uh, uh, very clear. So next part, let's talk about, he said, use cosine rule and angle find BCD. Middle letter B, C, D. The middle letter is called C, and this is my question. So let's see how we can use, how to find this angle, theta. Okay, so now, first of all, I he's mentioned cosine rule, so let me try, draw this triangle as, this is not compulsory. If you draw, good, well and good. But if you don't draw, no trouble at all. Small b equal to 90, because in front of capital B, so this is a D, so this is called small d. And this is a C, this is called small c, 80. So I think so up till now, you're not getting any, any issue. Because C is my angle question, so I use this formula and I, you're familiar. Cause of capital C equals to minus C square here because corresponding angle inside. And rest uh, sides are B and D, B and D. So I'm writing here B square and plus D square and down two times to this B and D, but without powers. So this formula we have, and I'm going to replace our values and inshallah become easy for you. B value is 90, so 90 square, and D value is 95, 95 square, and C value is 80, so I'm writing here 80 square. In denominator two times to B and D value, which means 90 and 95. So I'm writing 90 and into 95. So I'm going to solve, I'm going to solve this question. 
90 square plus 95 square minus 80 square and two times to 90 into 95. And this value is coming. In the meantime, this cause I bring on the other end becomes cause inverse. And this value I'm keeping in the bracket, which is 143 divided by 228. Uh, and then cause inverse of the angle I'm getting here, C angle is coming 51.156. Let me write again, it's so mix up, 51.1566. But again, we need a one, this is a one, sorry, this is an angle, angle always one DP. I need this, I don't want. Is a bigger than four, so add. So angle BCD, I was looking for 51.2 degree is my, angle so two parts alhamdulillah completely completely finished now i want to go for the uh, the middle part the area so so i have to erase for the next part so yes sir student now i have a data given so we have i i wrote the values i wrote the angle value i wrote the side value and i have to find the area of the quadrilateral a b c d Actually, A, B, C, D, this is a quadrilateral shape. We will not use any specific formula. I will use only and only triangle formula, triangle one, and then triangle number two. And we have a special formula for it. I'm writing formula of that is area is here. Half into, for example, uh, I want to apply on this triangle. What is the plan behind? I always use, look at, for example, this is a 10, this is a 20, and this is called middle angle, let's say 42 degree. Even I given here for 52 degree or 53, I can't use this 53 reason. Why I can't use this angle? Because it is not in the middle of sides, sorry. Side is given, side is given. This is called a middle angle. So I will use half, half into 20, into 10, into, into, sine, into sine of 42, in the sine of 42. So this is a way to use a question. I yeah. hope so, got idea clear. Now I'm going to use, uh, uh, I'm going to use this formula here and let's see how we can use. First of all, problem in this triangle, upper triangle, or let's try, apply on the upper triangle here. So I'm using triangle B, B, C, D, B, C, D, okay. In this triangle, I need two side and middle angle. Problem, if I use these two side, do we have this angle? Not at all. If I use this two side, do I have middle angle? Not at all. So I, I am bound to use this side and this side and the middle angle, which is here middle angle. So let's start. Half into A into B into sine C. I am not uh, using the letters, all the B and D here. I'm not using that. I'm using general formula. This is a general formula for the all. Okay. Half into one side is 90. Second side is 95 and the sine of the middle angle, which is 51.2. Repeat, one side here, second side here, and middle angle here. I hope so, the idea is very, very clear. And let me calculate this value. Half into 90, into 95, into sine of 51.2. And this angle is, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kidding. Area, sorry, 3331. 0.6698 and I write full value in centimeter, not centimeter, not centimeter, meter square, meter square. This is coming A1. Similarly, I'll go for the lower triangle and lower triangle, let's find. But lower problem, what is here? We do we have this side? Not at all. Uh, so it means this side we don't have, this side I can't use. I have this side, I have this side. I am bound to use this angle. Okay, this angle we not give it, but we can find easily how add them both and subtract from 180 degree. So angle D, how I can find, I call the name ADB. So angle ADB equal to 180 minus 49 plus 55. So in this way, I can find the unknown angle, so 180 minus 49 and 55 gone, so 76. So this angle is 76. Now I can use this side and this side and a middle angle. So let's start, A2. This time I'm using triangle ABD, ABD. So A2 is equals to half 
into A into B into sine C. I'm using general formula. So I'm not using specific letters, A, B, C, D, whatever, no. A is called one side, second side. So I'm writing here, it is 6.8 times to uh, 80 times to sine of the middle angle, which 76. And let me type all together, 86.8 times to 80 and times to sine of the middle angle, 76. So it is coming, answer is coming 3368.866. Three, Let me reconfirm, half into 86.8 into 80 into sine of uh, uh, 76. Yes, correct answer. And my answer is very, very clear. Okay. Now I will add both because I need a full quadrilateral area. Quadrilateral means both triangles. So area of the quadrilateral is what? So area of quadrilateral. Or I'm writing A, B, C, D shortly, okay? So just add them. So this value and uh, plus 3331.6698. So answer is coming 6700.53. But we need 3SF, you know, 3SF means I need first digit, I need second and third, and fourth I don't want. Example, I just show you, I need, I need, I need, I don't want. Which I don't want bigger than four, not at all. So answer is six, seven, double zero meters square is the answer for the whole diagram.